What's up everybody, VB here bringing you my first look at the new Magic 2013 game which came out today on the Xbox 360 but also will be out on the PlayStation 3, the PC and also the iPad for the first time. Now the game itself is basically a kickstarter towards the new expansion which is going to come out later on in the summer for the actual card game itself and it's going to get people more adjusted to the game with 100 new cards being incorporated into the actual digital game as well as 10 new decks as well to use. To be honest they can do whatever they want in my opinion as long as A they don't change the art style and B they don't get rid of the phantasmal bears. I do love me some phantasmal bears now and then. Now everything's pretty much the same as it was in Magic 2012. So you've got DLC, so when new decks are released in real life they'll get incorporated into the actual game itself. Also you've got help and options so people new to the game they can learn it through a how to play or a tutorial. There's ways of changing you know, your hand layout, turning off hints, disabling tips, things like that. But the biggest change I found as a player of the previous 2012 edition was how deck manager now works. What it was before is when I made changes to my deck, you know, there wasn't really a clear indication of whether the changes I were making were good or bad. But now what they've done is they've incorporated a star system under four different headers. Creature size, deck speed, deck flexibility and card synergy. So even if you jump straight into deck manager without playing any games, you'll see that certain decks excel in some areas as opposed to others. Moreover, once you've made your changes to the deck, it should change the star rating as well. So you'll see whether you're keeping up to the natural strengths of the deck or whether you're actually hindering it with the changes you've made. Now they've also changed the campaign, no longer is it a case of following a linear path like it was in 2012, you know, there you could go A to B straight to the final boss, jobs are good and you knew where you were going. But now what they've done is changed it into certain areas, so the first area is Chandelar, and basically as you work through those areas you go against various opponents, and also you come across encounters which are like mini challenges, which all leads you up to your final confrontation with Nicole Bolas, which is that giant dragon that seems to hate everyone and everything in the introduction. Such a grumpy git. Now once again making a return as well is the revenge mode so you can go against those opponents you've beaten once in the campaign. Plane chases are also a new mode they've incorporated. Me personally at the moment I don't know too much about it but once I do get some games done and figure out exactly what's going off I will put a video up about it as well. And finally you've got the challenges returning as well and those puzzles are the same like from 2012. You have a limited set of cards or a limited set of moves to try and solve the problem before you. Now there's been a couple of changes to the gameplay as well, it seems to move a lot more fluidly, you know, you're not sort of stalling now and then, you know, if you hit X to stop the timer, you're not stuck in this weird freeze moment where it's like, uh, uh, what are we doing, are we going, are we stopping, mm, we don't know. Uh, but the biggest change is the fact that now you can choose which lands you want to tap when you play spells and instants. Whereas before in the 2012 edition, if you played a spell or instant, it would just use any land, you know, and it would lead you to a situation where if you had a creature that wanted, say, a red and a black, and then you'd used all the black up summon in that spell when you had some spare reds. It's like, oh, come on. Can't even use it now. Sad face. And then you probably get beaten on the next turn. Right, I think I've covered all the important changes they've included in the game. I can stop lecturing you all now. Ah, oh, that feels so much better. But anyway, in this gameplay, you'll see a couple of games being played against Talrand, which is the first opponent in the campaign who uses a blue deck. And she's damn annoying, let me tell you that. She's got a Skywinder Drakes. Heads up, new card, where it's a three land, well, two land and one blue, and it's a three one flyer. If you play against a basic green deck, you've won with at least two of those on the field, because they've got no reach, they've got no walls, you know. <laughs> Bit of a disadvantage when you first start out, but yeah, I managed to beat her with the green and the red deck, but each deck now has got 30 cards to unlock, so there's a lot more to unlock as opposed to sort of the 20, which went up to 25 and then up to 30. So there's quite a lot of effort, so it's worthwhile, I think, probably sticking to one deck for a while, working your way through, and then going through with another, things like that. But yeah, that's probably it for the video. So that's my first impressions of Magic 2013. It's a pretty solid game, to be honest. I do enjoy playing it with people, so if you are going to get it for the Xbox, let me know your gamer tag, and maybe I can challenge you to a few games, or, you know, you can always just send us an invite. I'm always open to a game. But that's it for a video, people. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay and the commentary. Um... Yeah, well, I say the gameplay, it's very much decimating someone with no creatures, and then the other one's just getting lucky with the cards I play. <laughs> Hooray for flukes! But anyway, rate, comment, subscribe, you know the drill by now. Leave a comment, let me know if you'd like to see more of the Magic series, and what kind of routes I should go down with the gameplay. Also, let me know if I could improve on anything. I know a lot of the time when I was talking and listening to it back, I was just thinking, just shut up, because you don't know what you're talking about. Uh, especially when it comes to characters, things like that. But yeah, if you do have any feedback or any advice, let me know in the comments. Keep up the GG's, and I will see you in the next video.